What's up? It's your boy Mikey Will here. In this video, we are working on a Teleria X3 or Triple X, whatever you want to call it. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button, like, drop some comments, everything helps, you know what I'm saying? So, what you guys got to do is take off that back spring, lower that back wheel, because you got to unplug the battery of the bike. And to unplug the battery, you have to do this. And you, there's like two little like twist handles that you just pull. You don't really pull them out. You just twist them to the left. And I'm not sure about the right one. I think it, I think they both go to the left. Um, but yeah, you just unhook them. The battery tray opens, and you can see it's not gonna come out all the way, but the battery will slide down. All right. So at this point, we are gonna rip off the beauty covers. Uh, the charging. I did the charging port side first, and there's four bolts, I believe. So you would just, there's like two up top and two near like the motor side. And to take off the connector, it's like you have to use both hands. You're not going to get this one handed. And you just strictly do not just automatically go in there and pull it. You will break the connector. So what you're going to do is just twist it off with both hands. And uh, it's going to, one's going to go, one's going to spin one way, one's going to spin the other way. And you're just going to twist it off. It's very simple. And then you just pull it off when it's the, the little piece is uh, fully screwed off. All right, so now this is the right side of the bike. You're taking off the beauty cover and stuff because you want to get you want to get full access to the wires and everything you're gonna need. We are putting on an eBMX uh, speed controller. I think it's the eBMX 9000, and we are putting an Exocean motor, all 72 volt. And for this, you're gonna have to take off the horn cover too because the eBMX controller is huge. You're gonna have to cut the bottom uh a little bash guard too uh but th that's like fairly easy work compared to everything else so to take off the speed controller there's four bolts and what the eab max kit does give you is the brackets and stuff so what you're gonna do is uh check the connectors see what see what plugs go where take a mental note or take a picture Whatever you guys gotta do, you know, to like remember these things. But every plug goes to each individual plug. Nothing is like interchangeable. So just know that as well. But the more things you unplug, the harder things get to, well, to put them back together. Cause you're gonna start forgetting things. All right, so from here, you're gonna like start to see the speed controller fall down a little bit. The leads are holding up. I'm actually holding on with my hand and I placed the, what's it called? The bash guard on the speed controller, holding it up. And the bucket's obviously under it, holding everything. So, and you just gotta take off the leads. It's not much to it, guys, you know? So you just take those off and it gives you full access to take off the full uh, speed controller. And then from there, guys, there's, two little triangle little bracket pieces don't forget those you gotta take those out too but this is the little uh egg rider the sv 102 and you just plug it in it just plugs right into the plug and play thing don't get the wires mixed up because like you're from your previous one to your new one it's so easy to try to think that you can plug it in it doesn't fit but all right so we're moving on to the brackets now guys and this is what I was talking about before. I was trying to fit it up, but I couldn't really get it going. But then I realized I'd take those little uh, little triangle pieces out. There's like two or three screws on both sides. Just take those out, and bada boom, bada right, bing. So what we doing now is getting ready to get the social motor uh, prepped and ready because this is not the right connector. It's a Ceron connector, I believe. So I'm gonna use one of these joints, six pin. It's the hall, uh, hall sensor version, and I will post the little wiring for it. I also got this from one of the, uh, I think he, I'm not sure if he was from Telaria Boys or what, but yeah, this guy had the picture. I just took a screenshot of it. I'm just passing along the word. I will definitely shout him out in the video. And here, let's get it cracking. Alright, so I cut off the end in case you want to use this because you might want to. I don't know, you're probably not going to use this if you have a Teleria. 
So now I'm going to strip the ends of these six wires. All right, so now I got them stripped. About to hit them with the, the crimpers and these little tiny joints, these little pins. And I'll show you what it looks like in a second. All right, this is what it looks like with the uh, this is what it looks like with the pins all crimped on there. Put a little bit of solder on the ends because I don't know if I did a great job, but the solder will hold tight because I know it will because I made sure it's on there. All right, now it's time to put this this little connector onto the pins. You're gonna want to use some type of little pick or something to take that little water seal off. All right, after a hard, long hot battle finally got the pins in all right so now we're on to uh taking out the motor uh the new social motor a little drive belt piece for it already so you don't have to take off this bolt or anything like that so it's just uh one bolt right here the second bolt is down here I, if you have the little shift lock all you do is just push down that little spacer will come out don't lose that spacer because you need that and there is the second bolt right there right down there and on this side it is this bolt and this bolt I'll zoom out a little bit so you guys can see him and him but, uh, we will have to take out this um, belt ch chain, uh, belt tensioner. Actually, maybe not. We probably could just grind it down to be honest in there. We'll see what happens. But yeah, let's get this thing out. Remember to take off the belt before you try taking the motor off because the belt will fight you back. Alright, so to take off the motor, you want to undo all the bolts, of course, uh, and take off this little cage part with the motor mount and stuff. I have everything zip tied up because obviously that's. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still in the process of building this thing. And then you just undo the motor. You just slide down, make sure the bolts are out of the way, everything's out of the way, the bash guard's out of the way. Yeah, just make sure there's no wires like still connected, because it would suck to be still connected, because that motor is kind of heavy. For one hand, at least. Alright, guys, if you have a QS8 connector, you will need to remove these battery leads, and this is how you do it. And obviously, it's pretty simple. There's one connector right there. You just unplug that, and then you just take off the previous positive and negative leads to uh, take it out. And you guys can see from here, you can just pull it on out. So that's what I'm just going to do, guys. Because we do not need this anymore. All right, it's not working as well as I would hope. Um, I'll figure that out in a second. <laughs> All right, so I got a little caliper here, and I'm just gonna measure this uh, chain belt belt tensioner before I start uh, grinding it down to fit the Soshin motor over there. Uh, they were saying to cut it about just in half, but I don't have a Dremel. But I do have a couple other tools that I can use to get it done, so I'll let it get it cooking. Alright, so right now it looks like it says uh, 7 millimeters, so we are going to make that cut right in the middle of that. So, 3.57, here we come, boys. Alright, not looking too bad. Maybe need to shave off a little bit more. I don't know if you guys can see this little black line. 
that I like tried to grind to because that was just about half. And I'm gonna keep going. Alright, here for the it is the Soshin Moto. Jesus that's happy song. Alright, so what we're gonna do is do it like the other guy said in the other video. I will link his uh, video in the description because he definitely breaks it down really good and all you gotta do is just do it from the far side which is obviously not this side but go to here this is your motor connector um, the leads like your green your yellow and your blue lead and that's about it guys but uh yeah so you're just gonna want to line up those bolts this top and bottom top and bottom and these are using your stock bolts guys so I'll show you what that looks like in a second <coughs> alright guys um you keep you don't go all the way in with the motor because you remember you have to get this belt around um this little drive uh this little belt drive my bad I'm feeling a little under the weather but yeah so now you can put fill the top mounts with spaces because it should line up or come close at least and then you just have to figure out your width up in there and then you guys are pretty much good to go other than i'm um, not grinding this but like grinding this to make this fit because this motor is bigger than the stock what is that what kind of battery is that it's 74 volt 24 amp hour oh my Dig god it. From, from where though? Oh, uh, EBMX. EBMX is right there. <sighs> Say what's up to the gang. What up? <laughs> Alright, check this thing out. Sheesh, yeah. that's huge. I know. This is the extended huge. battery cover. Yeah, yeah. Kill this off. Oh, I almost ate it. I put my head up real quick. I don't want to look terrible for you. <laughs> I don't mind this shit. You, you meant, you meant, don't worry really. about it. Yo. Yeah. We got his Telaria Mint, the Sotion motor up in there. Still got a couple little small little kinks to work out. We good, but what are we doing? What is this, the EVMX app? Oh, you watch it. Yeah, we got it. We'll select that bike. First, open your own settings. Open up general. Okay, so we're going to go to settings. All right. Bike type, Telaria Triple X, motor type, Soshin FO1 Hall Sensor, battery series, 20 cell 72 volt, battery model, 20 cell EVMX stock harness, right? Yeah. Or should I do the high power harness? Uh, I'd do the high power harness. Okay. Now let's get this. So, what's the max current I can run on this? Uh. I don't, yeah, I don't know what the what the I stats are. Frank that up. We'll figure. Nah, yeah, yeah, we'll uh, figure. Three hundred amps. Three hundred. Yeah, three hundred. It's pretty pretty chill. I don't think you'll be touching that. Uh, yeah, I don't think. Wheel diameter. Uh, that's where this is where it gets tricky. Yeah, yeah. We gotta measure it. Um, Let's save at the bottom. So the, you see okay. where it says save down there? It's Twenty cell seventy two. Yeah, high Next power harness. Power. Alright, so it's all, I'm not even going to touch that, then. If it's automatically set up, then I'm not even going to touch it. I'm just going to... Okay, the wheel diameter, what did I say it was? 576. 576. Yeah, I wouldn't try to leave that out too much. I feel like it's going to crash again. Okay. Um, gear ratio. So the, he has a whole tip on how to calculate the gear ratio on this. You know, I'm going to grab my dad's phone just in case. Alright, I don't want to do that. Oh, look at that. It's calibrating... Successful. It was spinning on its own. And it said it successfully calibrated, so that means I hooked okay. everything up right. That's sick. Whoa, the wheel's spinning. Wait, wait, wait. That's going clockwise or anti clockwise? That's clockwise. 
Uh, and that's already no. You already you're going forward. Okay, so I don't need to change anything. Nah, you're good. It's going anti-clockwise. Just be careful. That belt's that belt's not completely tension. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, let me give it a go. Let me go ski. Kick stand up. Whoa. Like, dude, that is ridiculously fast. <laughs> Yo, be careful on that thing. That is super duper fast. That is super that is duper cool fast. Too, bro. I, well, I want to try the reverse real quick. No, don't try the reverse. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, it's in it's on zero right now, it's on neutral. Alright, we'll put it in gear for I don't know how to work this thing. It's just it's just the up and down button. Alright, it's in gear now. Alright, well we gotta hold the light because it's dark. Yeah, well, gotcha. yeah, I got the kicks in now. Sure. It's, 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 it's already recording. Yeah, it's already recording. Gotcha. It's in gear. So it's in mode one. Mode one is pretty zippy. But wait till you try mode two. Don't try mode three because that thing's on the max kilowatts. Uh, that. So you see the up and down buttons right there? Yeah, that. I'm just gonna hit mode two from the right. It's right there. Uh, Yo, look at it on the camera. Uh, Yo, that's sick. I'm waiting till this car goes. You're chilling. It's zippy, bro. Careful. Turn around. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yo, there's a car! We're gonna. Yeah. This thing is, this thing blows my shirt out of the water. Yo! I gotta zip tie that badge card up. Here, drop, like, drop the kickstand. Yeah, that's on reasonably fast, yeah. Dude, uh, wait, please. I haven't even tried mode 3. Mode yeah, 3 is yeah. on 28. Yeah, I'm good off that, man. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe, like, and comment button. Everything helps. We got more content coming soon. Peace.